So in this example, I'm going to set up a call from the one user to the other user. I'll answer the call. So the call is established between the two users. In Network Optimize, I'm going to refresh the sessions. And as you can see here, we have a call from John to Mary. Looking at the DSCP value, we can see that DSCP values have been configured by Network Optimizer. We can see details of the call, so I'll be able to see how long the call duration is. I can also see, as an example, where the user's located in the network. So the one user, which is called the caller, is initiating the call. So this is John connected to one switch on port three, and the call is being made to Mary on another switch, and she's located on port three of that switch. The desired DSCP configured is 46, in other words, expedited forwarding, and the configured DSCP is 46. In other words, via OpenFlow, this application has written flow entries to the switch to set traffic between these two users, and that traffic is being marked with DSCP 46, and COS, or PCP if you prefer, set to five. So layer three, DSCP, layer two COS, set to five. Now we can actually see that by going to OpenFlow Monitor and looking at the flow tables of one of the switches. In this example, I've got two HP switches. I'm gonna click on Flows, and scrolling down, I can see that the DSCP is being configured to 46, and the priority code points or cost is being set to five for a session with the source address of this and destination address of this. So in the flow table, I can see multiple entries with these two IP addresses. Looking at our users, we can see that the one user, in this case, John, has this IP address. And the other user, in this case, Mary, has this IP address. So what's happening is Link is setting up a call between the two users using dynamic port numbers. That information is being sent through to Network Optimizer using the Microsoft SDN interface. And Network Optimizer is writing flow entries to the switches dynamically, similar to what we saw in this diagram. So a call is established between two users across an infrastructure. That information is captured by the dialog listener forwarded to the SDN manager, which in this case is being forwarded to Network Optimizer, which is writing flow entries to the network infrastructure to prioritize voice traffic. What it's doing is marking the traffic as high priority based on a configuration setting within the application. So under configuration options, you can simply configure the DSCP values that you want for different traffic types. I'll show you the physical switches in a moment, but let's do a, another example where we share the desktop. So I'm gonna share the desktop of one user. On the second user, I'm going to accept that desktop sharing. So there's the desktop sharing. If I go to sessions, I can see that a new session has been set up. In this case, it's application sharing. Notice the DSCP here is 26, or if you prefer, AF31. That was configured through the application's global quality of service settings. So you can just change these values through this interface and it would dynamically change the flow tables of the switches and set the quality of service accordingly. So here's our voice traffic and here's our application sharing traffic between the users. Notice the IP addresses, notice the dynamic port numbers. Those flow entries are dynamically configured on the switches using this application. Traffic to the link server is also prioritized with a DSCP of 24 and PCP of 3. 